The new Glenstone includes 230 acres, a new museum with 50,000 square feet of exhibit space, and an ability to show more art. You are among these 230 acres of beautiful landscape that is part of your visit. And in the landscape beyond the meadows and the trees and the forest, there's a stream and there's outdoor sculpture. So you start by coming into the arrival hall and pass over a wooden bridge and take a seven minute walk to the new buildings. And the idea is to sort of disconnect and let yourself get ready to experience the landscape as well as the art and the architecture. It encourages this slow art movement where you have as much time as you want with a piece. We just entered room two, and room two is a rotating pavilion at Glenstone. And currently we have a hanging of different artists and art movements that are in the collection. So it's kind of a tip of the iceberg of all different movements that Glenstone collects. There's a room of Gutai paintings from Japan, and then you go into the next gallery and you're there with artists from Brazil um, and the neon concrete artists. So, so it's a little bit of a highlight of everything. So the building, the pavilions, is 200,000 square feet. It was designed by Tom Pfeiffer and it is there in service of the art. So what he would say is he really didn't want anyone to see the building without the art, but instead with the art in it. In addition, we limit the number of people every day, and it's 400 people a day because we want people to come in and spend as much time as they want and feel like the place belongs to them.